Hello everyone, wishing you all a cheerful day ahead. I hope all of you are fine and safe staying at home. Today, I would be very happy to introduce a new chapter in front of you that is My Brother, My Brother written by one of the most prominent British writers, Nora Burke. This is a beautiful story. In the very beginning, there is an incident narrated. Let's read this. The first National Bravery Award was given in 1957 to Harish Chandra Mehra for his courage and presence of mind. Harish Chandra saved the life of the then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru along with other dignitaries. When fire broke out in Shamiana due to a spark from firework, Harish entered the burning Shamiana and started climbing 20 feet high electric pole. On reaching the top, he whipped out his scout knife and cut off the burning Shamiana cloth. Have you ever heard the National Bravery Awards? Do you know why these awards are given? The National Bravery Award is given for encouraging the person as well as inspiring the public. There are two positive elements highlighted in this chapter. The first one, courage. And the second one, fearlessness. Is there any other element? In this story, there is a beautiful message hidden. Let us all discuss that. The main characters of the story are Sher Singh, the elder brother, and his little brother Kanwar Singh, their mother and the doctor. Let's begin the chapter with a positive mind. Sher Singh's little brother lay in the hut with a pain in his stomach that was getting worse. Sher Singh himself was only about 12 years old. Small and cheerful, a child of the jungle. His brother was several years younger to him. I will wring out the rags in boiling water and lay them on the stomach, said his mother. She did not weep. She had lived through everything over and over again. This story starts with a sorrowful atmosphere. What might be the reason? The younger brother, conversing, was down with severe stomach pain. His mother became so sad. She had tried to reduce the pain by laying the steaming cloth over his stomach. But there was no result. The steaming rags did not help. After a while, Sher Singh's mother said he must be carried to the hospital at Kalkhat. Then Sher Singh thought that his brother was dying. Old jungle people somehow thought that the hospital was the last resort of the doomed. They were waiting to reduce the pain, but it did not. Who all were waiting? Both the mother and the elder brother. So, his mother told that he had to be taken to the hospital. Why they should be taken to the hospital? Because they lived in the jungle. Whether they were alone? No. All the jungle people also were with them. So, they also thought taking him to the hospital was the only way to save his life. Whose life? Conversing the younger brothers. I will run for my father, he cried. It may be days before you find him. Sher Singh's father was away in the jungle with a photographic expedition. All the men of Ladwani village too were with the expeditions as beaters. Sher Singh looked at his younger brother and saw that he was in a great pain. Calcutt was at least 50 miles away, but Sher Singh hoped that if he could get through the jungle and cross the two rivers in between, he might get a lift in a bullock cart 
or perhaps even a broken down truck for the last part of his journey. Shir Singh was very much ready to do anything for his brother. That's the reason why he had said he would run for his father. Where is his father? His father had gone for a photographic expedition. Expedition? What do you mean by expedition? An organized tour. That is expedition. What do you mean by photographic expedition? An organized tour in connection with photography. Along with him, all the men of the jungle too joined. He realized that it would be very difficult to meet his father. So what happened next? He decided to take his brother on his bike and move on to the hospital. It was so risky and adventurous because the hospital was 50 miles away from the jungle. What all things had so far taken place? Kanwar Singh fell sick. His mother tries to reduce his pain. The elder one, Shir Singh, thinks his brother may die as soon. His mother and the villagers as well realizes that Kanwar Singh should be taken to the hospital, which is 50 miles away from the jungle. And what happens next? Shir Singh knows that it is very difficult to reach his father. He decides to take him, whom? To take his brother on his shoulder, which is very risky and adventurous. Will Shir Singh be able to take his brother to the hospital? Let's see what happened next. Shir Singh walked alone, carrying his brother on his back. He walked through the jungle. Night fell, the sky became purple black. It blazed with stars. Shir Singh had good eyes. He could still see. Presently, the moon rose. The sight of the bare tracks in the dust, the square front paws and long back one with the shaggy clothes made him glance around uneasily. Yes, finally, he had taken his brother on his shoulder and he walked through the jungle. The night fell, the sky became purple black. Why? The color of the sky became purple because the shining stars are present there and it was a symbol of night. The night came. Shir Singh had good eyes. He could still see in the night also. Presently, the moon rose. The sight of the bear tracks. What do you mean by the bear tracks? Bear tracks means the deep footprints of the animals. It hindered him. It blocked him. It was a disturbance for him to move on. Why? Because he had to look always on the road. He was not able to look around whether any other wild animals are coming towards him. He was fearful that he would fall in the deep footprints of the animals on the way. Okay, let's see what happens next. On a cliff above a riverbed, Shir Singh knew that he could go no further without rest. Sweat was running off his shaking flesh. He set Kanwa down gently against the tree. At last, he became very tired. He was bathed in sweat. The sweat was running off his shivering body. Why? Because he was very tired and he was not able to walk even a little bit. So what did he do? He set his brother down behind the tree. It was then that he heard the jostle and skill of elephants. Below him on the riverbed, the elephants traveled. He could see cows and the babies and one great old tusker. It was playing its trunk to and fro to learn 
whatever the breeze could tell it and suddenly it hesitated. The trunk came around towards the boys. Sho Singh chilled with fright. With Kanor to carry, he could neither climb nor run. It was then that he heard the jostle and scale of elephants. What is the meaning of jostle? Rough movement of animals. What is the meaning of scale? A loud cry. Then what did they see? The rough movement of animals. Animals. What animals were there at that time? The elephants. A herd of ele elephants were passing nearby them. Among them, one of them was the great old tusker, and the rest of them were the elephant babies. Suddenly, what happened? The elephant's trunk came round towards them because they were playing with its trunk. Shersing chilled with fright. Why? Because he felt as if the trunk is coming towards him. What is trunk? Trunk is the long nose of elephants. Do you think the tusker will come towards the boys? Let's see what happens. The tusker snorted, trumpeted and shook its head. Suddenly it hurried on angrily up the river bed and all the herd went with it. They disappeared. What happened? Did they have any kind of uh, danger? Nothing had taken place. Nothing happened. Why? Because the tusker snorted, trumpeted and shook its head. It had done just an activity that snorted. What is the meaning of snort? Snort means breath heavily or breath noisily. What is the meaning of the trumpet? Trumpet means the heavy roaring of an elephant. What happened here after here? The elephants, all the elephants left immediately. Okay, let's move on to the next paragraph. Shao Singh breathed one more prayer of thanks this time and got ready to move with Kanwar on his back once again. He scrambled down into the river bed. He stepped into the river. The water was cold and deep. Thank goodness, there was a bridge at the second river. It was a flimsy thing made of bamboo poles, stones, thick grass and river gravel. But it was at least a bridge he plodded steadily on. Sho Singh gave thanks to God. Do you know why? Because he had saved his brother from those elephants. He scrambled down into the river bed. What is the meaning of scramble down to step down? Then what happened? He stepped into the river. The water was cold and deep. But he was courageous to move on. He somewhat managed to cross the first river. And after that, he was very happy. Why? Because the second river had a bridge which was flimsy thing, made of bamboo poles, stones, thick grass and river gravel. What is the meaning of flimsy? Not strong enough. What does it mean? Even though there was a bridge, the bridge was not strong enough. But they were very happy because at least there was a bridge. So he plodded steadily on. What is the meaning of plod? Plod means more gradually move on and slowly move on. Towards midnight, he heard the second river ahead of him. He heard it from far away, a steady roar of flood. When he came out of the shore, he saw it. A big head of snow must have melted yesterday and here it was. From bank to bank, the river formed. He looked for the bridge, but it was not there. He hopefully moved on. Before reaching the second river, they heard the heavy noise of the flood. But one thing we can understand that they are moving in the expectation of having a bridge over the second river. But 
when they came at the shore of the second river, they got surprised. What happened? What might have happened? The bridge was not there. It was taken by the flood due to the melting of ice. So, now how to cross? There was not a chance to swim. Even alone he would be lost. Perhaps among the wreckage of the bridge there was a way. Shersing gathered grass and plaited it into a rope. He tied the rope round his brother and himself so they would keep together. Then he entered the water just above the bridge. But he did not become disappointed. What did he do? He gathered the pieces of grass together and made a strong rope with it and tied it round his brother and himself. What for? Yes, to swim together to reach the other side. It was so cold that he could hardly keep his hold. He did not know if his brother was alive or dead, but he kept the child's head above the water and inch by inch moved along. He was deaf, blinded, frozen and tired, but he went on and on. Then the river seemed to lose power. They were true. After that, Shu Singh did not know what happened. He was walking on and on. There was a rod. Then there was a better world, far away in another world. What happened? He was so tired that he was not able to know whether his brother was alive or dead. But he did not lose his hope. Hopefully, he moved on. 